that triceps injury in week seven. And of course, the major headline today for the Browns, Josh Gordon making his return first regular season appearance for Gordon since December the 21st, 2014. And Kaiser right to Gordon as he quickly reintroduces himself to NFL fans, a pickup of nine to get the party started for the Browns. Well, you get the feeling that uh, Hugh Jackson could not wait to get Gordon involved. <laughs> and what do you do? The very first play of the game, a simple slant versus off coverage. Let him see what it feels like to catch an NFL pass. Pressure in third and long, this looks like coverage. Kaiser well protected, slinging it near the side of the field, intended for Gordon. And that pass a little bit underthrown, incomplete. There is a marker thrown behind the line of scrimmage. Again, Walt Coleman is our referee. Personal foul, rubbing the passer, number 99. Mm. Defense, 15-yard penalty, first down. Guard at Dorsey High School in South Central Los Angeles. Here's Kaiser going to take his shot, thrown towards the end zone, and it is incomplete. Looking in the direction once again of Josh Gordon, who caught a nine-yard pass on their very first play from scrimmage. Good coverage by Adrian Phillips. Yeah, another nice job of Hugh Jackson trying to attack the backside safety, but number 31, Adrian Phillips, was all over it. He knew exactly what was happening. Josh Gordon in the slot with slot formation, tied in backside. They tried to take a shot, but because of the position back there by Phillips, Nowhere for Kaiser to throw the ball. Well, one of the major headlines today, the return of Josh Gordon. Supplemental draft pick at Cleveland in 12. Had a good rookie season. And then the record-setting 2013, in which he led the NFL with over 1,600 yards receiving. Suspended for DUI prior to 2014. Missed basically three full seasons, mm. save for the final five games of 2014. Multiple stints in rehab. He has tried to put all of his troubles behind him. He was conditionally reinstated by the commissioner November the 1st. Practicing with the team since November the 20th. It has been yeah. just an incredible story after Adam nearly three calendar years away from the game. And he's only 24 years old. And I had a chance to talk to Al Saunders, the wide receiver coach, and ask him, you know, what are the real expectations? And he said, you know, I just want him to go out and have a good experience and get back on the field. And just watching him warm up, you know, you just forget how freakishly athletic <laughs> he is. The size and the way that he can move with the quickness was actually working out with Tim Montgomery, the ex-Olympic sprinter the last year to try to get his body right. But boy, looks like he just stepped out of 2013. He sure did. Six foot four, and he's down to about 220. He was a little heavy last time he practiced with the Browns, but... It's all about third downs. Now he's lined up wide outside with Casey Hayward, but to pay it in return, Adam, what have you seen so far? Yep, first play of the game, Hugh Jackson open up the present, give him a little action, nice little slant. And then the rest of the time, it's pretty much been Casey Hayward. You see Hayward is step for step, running the route right with him. So I think a little bit is expected. You know, they know that the timing between he and Kaiser and, you know, getting out there and playing and it's not an easy challenge when your first game back in three seasons is against Casey Hayward. Kayser, quick release, looking in the direction of Gordon. We had a chance to visit with Gordon on Friday, talked about his two-year-old daughter, Emma. Oh, what a, a profound presence she's made and a, a change in his life, wanting to be a good father figure for her. I'll give you something to play for, won't it? Sure will. Browns have to be careful with time now because the last thing you want to do is give Rivers in this offense another crack at it before halftime. And incomplete pass on first down really puts this offense in a bad spot. Kaiser second down. Pass is caught. This is Gordon on a little crossing pattern, a pickup of eight. Gordon had that catch in their very first play from scrimmage. This is his second reception. Yeah, just a slant pattern against man-to-man -man coverage. And... Casey Hayward playing off. You know that's going to be an easy access throw inside, but back to Sean Kaiser works from the gun. The blitz pickup. Kaiser putting some air under it. That pass is caught. Josh Gordon. One on one with Casey Hayward. 28 yards and a Cleveland first down. This is a great battle. Hayward perfect at the line. Look at Hayward. Plays it perfectly, but Gordon, the strength in his hands to be able to come down with that with Hayward in position is just outstanding. Most of our CBS crew from Carson. 
And a beautiful Sunday. Boy, that Kaiser pass nearly picked right off the hands of Casey Hayward, who has been just off the charts this season, playing with a heavy heart today. He'll be thinking about that one. All over it, just sitting on it. He uh, does not respect Gordon going deep in any way, shape, or form. He's looking inside, reading Kaiser. He knows the ball is going to come out and almost comes down with another interception on the season. Hayward just over 24 hours removed from burying his younger 27-year-old brother after that tragic automobile accident late Monday in Macon, Georgia. Hayward left the team on Tuesday, was with his family all week. There's a tragedy striking that family again, lost his mother to breast cancer in July of 2016. His mother, Tish, and uh, just uh, can't even think about what that young man has gone through this week. Looks like Cleveland will take a timeout here. And some trickery here by Hugh Jackson as he goes deep into his play sheet. The Chargers have adjusted well. Only three offensive linemen in front of Kaiser's going to put some air under it. Has a man down the field. It's deflected, broken up, and incomplete. Boy, Gordon had a step on Trevor Williams on the sideline, but Kaiser a little bit underthrown with that pass. A little bit underthrown, and Josh Gordon is open. You see him run right by Williams. If that ball is thrown inside, you know, Williams is playing on the outside leverage right there. You throw that ball inside, and there's no safety in there to make the play on the ball. That's a miss by Kaiser and a missed opportunity for potentially a big play. Josh Gordon, if you've just joined us, three catches, 46 yards. Final play of the quarter. Kaiser will take a shot and incomplete as he overthrows Josh Gordon once again. That'll take us to the end of the third. Back to Los So we begin the fourth. Sean Kaiser on second and ten facing pressure and that pass severely overthrown. A late marker thrown. Multiple flags. Actually three of them all in the same vicinity. Blue pass. And... Pass interference. Number 20. Defense. Mm. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Doing that to a lot of linebackers and safeties this year. Kaiser on third and one. Flag is thrown as Kaiser and Gordon have lost that early chemistry that they had. Gordon against Trevor Williams that time. Illegal formation on the offense. We only had six men on the line of scrimmage. Five yard penalty. Still third down. His two best games of the season. Protected well here, but that pass a little bit too low, and he and Gordon just cannot seem to get on the same page, at least in this second half. It'll be third and four. Yeah, but the coverage is just brilliant. Casey Hayward, a master at the line of scrimmage, doesn't lose his patience. Look how quickly he comes out of the breaks, and there is absolutely no separation from Josh Gordon. It's just pretty amazing what kind of game and what Casey Hayward has had to go through today, but he is been all over the place. Well, no one on that Chargers side knew whether Haywood would play today. And what a game he has played, putting all the emotions aside after the death of his brother earlier this week. Today peaking at just the right time. We're hoping for a stop. Kaiser throwing end zone incomplete. Once again, looking for Gordon. And guess who? It's Hayward again. You know how hard this is when you're playing outside technique on an in-breaking route and to be in that kind of position in the red zone is outstanding. He makes it look easy, but I promise you that is not an easy route to play considering the technique that they ask him to do. Casey Hayward is just having an unbelievable game. And what a season he's had. Highest graded cornerback in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus. There with no timeouts and two minutes and eight seconds left. Kaiser 14 of 30, buck 76. And a touchdown. That pass is caught. Beautifully thrown. This is Gordon taking on tacklers. Inside the 30, finally brought down by Hayward. A pickup of 39. And that takes us to the two. Coming off the clock, Ricardo Lewis, the man who comes onto the field. Second and 13. That pass is intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. I knew you'd like that. Second and 11 as Rivers will take a knee, and the L.A. Chargers 
after an 0 and 4 start here in week 13 have somehow crept up and are now tied with Kansas City atop the AFC West.